hey, it's been a while, check it out. It's a new place, it's a new home studio, but that discussion is for a different day. I've been very busy recently for things that I'll be discussing in a different video, but on top of that, I've been in a really bad creative rut. So to change that, to change that, I've thought about doing uh, this quick project, I'll be doing a color walk. For those of you who don't know what the color walk is, it's literally just you going out and capturing things of a specific color. Today, I'll be doing blue because... For today's color walk, I decided to go with blue because June feels like a very blue month. Gear today is the Fujifilm X-S10 and color walk starts in 3, 2, 1... That was fun. Now I want to walk you through how I did all of that, starting with the colors. It was really fun capturing just a specific color, but there were just some moments where I felt like the color just wasn't the exact shade of blue that I was aiming for. So for those shots that weren't in that shade of blue that I wanted, I did a bit of color correction, color manipulation to match the color of blue that I wanted for the video. Additionally, I desaturated the rest of the other colors to give that blue a bit more pop. Next is sound effects. If you didn't notice, in the video, the sound effects that I used weren't actually the sound effects of the actual things that I actually shot in the actual video. The sound effects were added later in post-production. Since I was shooting with no microphone and I didn't want to use the internal audio on my camera. So I opted to just inject the sound effects in post-production. This gives me more flexibility with the timings of the sound effects. Plus this gives me extra room for creativity with the sound effects. For comparison, here is a clip of actual capture versus me adding the sound effects in post. Huge difference, right? Lastly, the music. If you're a follower of this channel, you'd know that I like to make my own music and it's no different in this video. The music I used in this video is actually something I made for this video. <laughs> for this, I actually built parts of the song before I even started the color walk and I just added the specific parts of the song that I felt I would want to have for the specific moments and scenes in the color walk that I captured. For example, the scene with the stoplight. I intentionally made it so that there was a brief pause in the music before it picked up again when the light turned green. So that's everything in a nutshell. This video, this short project, really sparked that urge for me again to start making new videos for me to make more creative content again. I'm thinking of making more of these color walk rules to walk you through my creative process so for my next color walk please comment down below the color you want me to do next and comment down below what you want me to walk you through next time that's it for this video thanks for watching enjoy the music